everyone. I just wanted to make a quick video on uh, how to install these <coughs> hydraulic brake sensors. So here we have a regular hydraulic brake. That's a Shimano brake. And I've uh, glued down this uh, the sensor here and then we need to stick a magnet over there. Uh, so basically what happens is every time you pull a magnet kind of uh, this sensor here. So that's the idea. Uh, this can get a little tricky. So I thought I'll do a quick little video on how we do it and how it can be done fairly easily. So first what we do is like uh, we use this JB plastic bonder. We've tried several other stuff and they don't stick. This plastic bonder works the best. Uh, so we, uh, you know, mix up these two, two compound together, uh, put it behind the sensor and then stick the sensor on. Since that bonder takes about 15 minutes to stick, we actually stick a little plastic tape just on top just to hold it in place. And you'll see that once it's uh, stuck, then if you take this tape off, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty permanent. Like this thing doesn't come off. Like we've, uh, we've tried several different glues and this is the best we found. So once this is done, you can see that my, my lines are disconnected. Both of them are disconnected here. Um, and I will show you on how to place your magnet here so that it, it works exactly where it should be. So what I've done here is I've uh, t it connected one of the brakes, okay? So I've left the other one disconnected, uh, just connected one of the brakes and turned the system on. And you can see on the display, it shows you right over here that the brake is engaged. So here I have a magnet here. Uh, I've just stuck it to a uh, rubber washer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this on the lever uh, in a position to make sure that this symbol on the light goes away, uh, the, the symbol on the display goes away. So you can see as I, if I leave it over here, the display symbol goes away. But as soon as I press the lever, so on this side, so as soon as I press the lever here, that comes back. So I'll just try that a couple of times. You can see lever on, lever off, on, off. Okay, so that's a really good position. So Ray, if you want to do it from here. So now you can see that this is a pretty good position where if I press it, I engage the brake uh, sensor. If I leave it, it doesn't. Now, once I've determined what position I want that to be um, uh, be in, I use this, uh, this quick glue here. Uh, this is made by Loctite. Uh, you could use any uh, adhesive, but I found this to work really well. Uh, so I use this Loctite uh, glue and I'm just gonna put a drop right over here. This stuff doesn't take a whole lot. So a couple of drops and then hold it for a few seconds. And you're good. So now you can see here, I've put the magnet in and the sensors in here. And if you look at the screen, as soon as I press the brake, it gets engaged. And then as soon as I release the brakes, it goes away. So that's perfect. So this is exactly what you need to do. So just to recap, so you install this uh, sensor first, stick it with the plastic glue, uh, put a piece of tape on there so it sticks, and then then you connect the, the brake lever onto the, uh, the sensor onto the wiring harness. And once that's connected, then you need to find the position for the magnet so that the sensor is disengaged when the, when the brake is not engaged, and then it gets engaged when the, the brake lever is depressed. Pretty simple.